For the past 45 years, Inuit communities in Nunavik have criticized the poor quality of their living environments. The forms of the built environments are borrowed from southern Quebec and are often poorly adapted to their way of life and aspirations. With the significant demographic increase and the lack of housing in Inuit villages, the construction of new houses or even new neighborhoods would require new space and land on which to build them. The question, from the perspective of urban morphology, is where and how these houses should be built to be more in line with Inuit traditions. This urban design essay aims to inform local planning decisions and contribute to the global knowledge of Inuit villages in Nunavik. It is based on the premise that a better understanding of the development in these settlements would be useful to inform decision-making process and to improve indigenous living environments. This research is organized in two parts. First, an analysis of the physical characteristics makes it possible to form three types of northern villages based on common traits. Using maps, aerial photos, development plans, text on land use and pictures, this part focuses on three main attributes of the villages. Their shape, size and relative position on the land. Second, an analysis of the evolution of the villages allows us to identify elements that are specific to the northern development context. These elements are similar to symbolic markers that would carry a color or even a local identity. This classification of the northern uh, villages of Nunavik is based on their common physical characteristic using a typomorphological analysis. The criteria used are their topography, the type of soils, the relationship between the villages and the nearby water, the position of the airport, the presence of old general stores or trading posts, the shape and position of the residential area, as well as the overall size and orientation of the village on the land. This classification revealed that Nunavik's 14 northern villages belong to three types cluster villages, block villages, and linear villages. The cluster villages, like Kujwak, are characterized by houses separated by a long stretch of roads or isolated in groups. The position of these clusters is influenced by natural constraints. Hills, a river that runs through the village, or soils that restrict certain construction methods. Block villages, like Salwit, have mostly developed as a single group of buildings, also restricted by natural boundaries. As for linear villages, like Inukjuak, they are characterized by a more or less straight development along a river or a bay. The territory of today's northern villages can be read as a superposition of layers representing the various government housing programs and construction methods. These environments first adapted to the territorial constraints by seeking out spaces closer to the water, the main access to the village, and building directly on the ground. However, over time and with the advancement of construction methods and knowledge related to permafrost, the new houses that were gradually detached from the ground and placed on gravel paths. The new buildings are now built where stable, accessible and relatively flat ground can be found. Since th these buildable areas are mostly small spots outside the village centers, these communities now tend to develop in clusters like in Kujwak. The analysis of this village therefore shows a trend towards which the other settlements are moving if the current patterns of houses construction persist. By gradually spreading out over the land, access on foot to services, community facilities and businesses, currently in the center of the villages is likely to be more difficult. These construction methods will also make it necessary to build longer roads, larger paths disconnected from the land and using a lot of materials. In the long term, the risk of losing the distinctive features of the villages, their relation to the land and its character Characteristics is likely. Symbolic markers are the element of the urban form that mark continuity in the environment over time. They are difficult to identify in Nunavik mainly because of the rapid evolution of the villages. Also, some elements such as street layouts could have been preserved to avoid building new ones without being really important to the Inuit. However, certain traces of appropriation have persisted over time. They are the result of the occupation of the villages and the land by its resident. For example, Inuit created informal pathways outside the planned street systems and added equipments behind their houses to support daily life activities. The development of planning practices that demonstrate a clear understanding of the land and its characteristics is only one element among many that will enable Inuit to better live on the land and their community. The knowledge of the land, the global perception of of its multiple dimensions supported by regional authorities will certainly make it possible to imagine new forms of living that are more respectful of the environment and more sustainable.